It's chilly outside and you're about to make your way home from the gym. As you take a moment to decompress from the physical activity, you check the health app on your phone to see the day's progress recorded by your wearable devices. You then access the smart home app and turn on the heating to make sure that your house is nice and cozy when you enter it and turn on the oven on your phone to take advantage of your commute to preheat it. Finally, you order an Uber and make your way home. Years ago, these scenarios would have sounded like something out of a sci-fi film. But now, and more so in the future, all of this is possible thanks to the Internet of Things, or IoT for short. IoT will come full circle when artificial intelligence meets blockchain technology. That's why I thought in this video, I should explain a little bit more about what it is and how it works. I'm Somi Aryan. I'm a tech philosopher and the founder of the FemPeak platform, where visionary individuals come to stay in the know and ahead of the curve in business and technology. I'm super passionate about getting more people on board with Web3, investing, and financial empowerment. Please just remember, nothing I say here is financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. So if you are on board, let's dive right in. Until recently, we were only able to access the internet through devices like computers, tablets, and smartphones. But now with the Internet of Things, practically any device or thing can be connected to the internet. This will allow us to keep track of and control them remotely. What's more, they may not even need us to control them as machine learning enables them to learn our preferences as we interact with them. IoT refers to a network of interconnected devices that share information among themselves. The term Internet of Things was first used in 1999 by Kevin Ashton, a British tech pioneer who co-founded the Auto ID Center at MIT. He used it during a presentation to describe a system where the internet is connected to the physical world via sensors everywhere. The objective of Internet of Things is to give humans the ability to control gadgets and devices remotely through a mobile application and solve everyday problems in a way that seems natural and integrated into our everyday life. An IoT ecosystem is made up of smart devices with connectivity that uses integrated systems like sensors and processes to collect, send, and act on data they obtain from their surroundings. This data is sent to another device, like a smartphone or a tablet, or served in a cloud to be analyzed. IoT devices do most of their work without human intervention, although humans can interact with them to give them instructions or set up functions. IoT can also rely on artificial intelligence and machine learning to create a more efficient data collection and processing, and it can be combined with blockchain technology to protect our privacy. As we discussed in the beginning of this video, one of the most common examples of IoT is smart homes. By the time your alarm clock rings in the morning, you can have your blinds programmed to open and your coffee machine to turn on. Some examples of IoT already in existence include fitness and wearable devices, smart homes, smart cars, agriculture, smart cities, and logistics tracking. The Internet of Things has changed the way that we do things. As a result, people now live and work smarter and control certain aspects of their lives that they never thought possible. But IoT has more to offer than just on a personal level. It is also essential to businesses and governments. It allows them to take an honest look at their own processes and make them more efficient and transparent. As a result, IoT represents one of the most critical technologies shaping the future of humanity. Once companies and governments realize its potential, it will definitely accelerate. As technology continues its upward trajectory, we will continue to have more things to connect to the Internet of Things, enabling its mass adoption. Subsequently, our lives will become more accessible and comfortable with long overdue solutions to everyday problems. However, one thing that we haven't talked about yet in this video is the possibility of IoT being used for control and surveillance, which makes it even more important than ever to decentralize these technologies and our governance. If you haven't watched my video about decentralization, be sure to check it out. It's the first ever video I made in this series and possibly the most important one as it underlies everything that we talk about throughout these videos. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and press that like button. 
This will help more people discover these videos. Also, be sure to ping that notification bell so you're alerted when I release the next video. And let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to cover. Finally, if you like what you see here, join the FemPeak platform where we have live mentoring sessions with industry experts and you can network with other visionaries like yourself.